Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Our next two films have something notable in common. Both have costumes by French designer Jean-Louis, the man who helped Rita Hayworth put the blame on Mame in the movie Gilda and literally sewed Marilyn Monroe into the dress she wore when she sang happy birthday to President John F. Kennedy in 1962. Jean-Louis also designed clothes for Marlene Dietrich and Kim Novak, Joan Crawford, Julie Andrews, and dozens of other top Hollywood stars. And at the time he died, he was married to the very fashionable Loretta Young. Well, the first film in our salute to Jean-Louis is one for which he designed costumes along with Marianne Nyberg and Irene Sheriff, all three earning Academy Award nominations for it. It's the 1954 version of A Star is Born, starring Judy Garland in her first film in four years. A comeback for Judy after she'd been fired by MGM and much in the news because of the numerous ups and downs in her life. But everybody had high hopes this film would bring her back big time, which it did, and to many it was the picture of the year. It also is a movie that required many costume changes for Judy, who in the movie plays an unknown band singer who, after a long struggle, becomes a Hollywood star, while the man she loves goes from being a movie legend to a Hollywood has-been. And the film was a triumph, damaged only by the fact that its original running time of three hours kept theaters from having a fast enough turnover to accommodate all the people lined up to see it. So Warner Brothers, which financed the movie, felt it was losing money because that three hour running time limited the number of showings it could have each day. So Warner's wanting the extra money that one or two extra showings each day would bring ended up cutting big chunks out of the film to make it shorter. Well, those cuts did tremendous damage to the story and to the movie overall. Well, over the years, many of the scenes once cut have been restored, and the print you're about to see is the most complete one that now exists. The entire vocal track was always available, although some footage is still missing. And where that's the case, photographs have been inserted, so you'll see the scenes the archivists are still hunting for. You also see the exceptional work of Jean-Louis and his fellow designers, as well as Judy Garland's really rare performance. And you'll also see the exceptional work by her co-star James Mason and others who are wonderful in the movie like Jack Carson and Charles Bickford. So from 1954, a real treat and a movie directed by George Cukor, A Star is Born. <laughs>